The series of events that led to the construction of the Capitol today actually started in 1993. There was bottles falling and hitting me and uh, I didn't know what it was. We thought it was like a truck hit the back of our store. The Scotts Mills quake with a magnitude of 5.3 shook the Willamette Valley and sent cracks through the Capitol Dome. Jody Jones, director of the project, said that was a wake-up call. And we had a lot of damage to the rotunda uh, and up where the gold man sits. That instigated people to start saying, well, what do we do if we have the big one? A 2013 report on the main building said it could collapse in a major earthquake, risking the lives of the more than 200,000 people who visit every year and the hundreds of folks who work at the Capitol on a daily basis. But the upgrades are about more than just keeping those in the building safe. After a major quake, state government will be crucial to rescue and recovery efforts. Because if we had an earthquake of that nature that did that kind of damage to this building, you need to imagine that we're also going to have a lot of damage to the entire state and we need our legislature. So how do you bring an 85-year-old building up to modern seismic safety standards? That job falls to Rodney Myrick, project manager for Hoffman Construction. And it involves some intricate devices called triple pendulum base isolators. So there, I would call them more of kind of like sliding plates with some bearings in the middle that they're kind of moving back and forth so the bottom would stay put and the top would be able to move. To get those base isolators in the right spots, all 150 of them, crews have been putting jacks under the building to hold it in place while they excavate underneath it. Then they drill deep holes, 50 or 60 feet into the ground, that will form the basis for columns. The base isolators will sit on top of the columns, between the building and a 52-inch thick slab of concrete. So when a major quake hits, the ground will move, but the building will stay perfectly still. Myrick said a lot of the work is very technical, but that's one of the parts he enjoys the most. That, and being able to work on a building he's recognized since he came to Salem as a kid. At just being able to work on the crown jewel of Oregon, I mean, it's the most iconic building in the state. And being a lifelong Oregonian, that I take a lot of pride in that, and I'm super excited to work on that project. Now, once it's done, the $500 million project will also feature upgraded heating and cooling systems, improved accessibility, and some new meeting spaces. Until then, though, large parts of the Capitol, including the rotunda, will stay closed to the public until the project is completed in late 2025. Brittany, Ashley? All right.